is a Roosevelt elk in the water and on the side of the water. It's one of our female Roosevelt elk. Roosevelt elks are the largest of the elk species native to the forests and mountains of the Pacific Northwest. They were named after our president, Theodore Roosevelt, who took the initiative in conserving the elk's habitat. And because of his amazing efforts, the elk population grew. The fallow deer are next here on the right side as well. They're similar to New Jersey's white-tailed deer. Fallow deer keep their spots throughout their lifetime and are more pronounced in the summer coats. More of our elk on top of the hill. Those elks, their antlers, shed every year. And they'll reach about four feet in length. More of our rias on the left and right sides. After the female rhea lays her eggs in the ground, she gets up and walks away. It's the male that steps up and incubates the eggs for 40 days and then takes care of the offspring. It's about time. 12 feet at the shoulder. That is seven tons of fun right there. This is all female herd. Elephants are a key sun species, which means they have a great impact on our environment. And the two major threats to the elephant population is the ivy trade and habitat destruction. Their trunk is an elongation of the upper elephant nose has over 100,000 muscles. It's more than the human body times 10. They'll use their trunks to grasp objects. Check out how she's flinging that mud on her back with her trunk. That would really repel insects. The tip of her trunk has two lips as opposed to the single lip of an Asian elephant. Zebras. We got a lot of baby zebra fowls in the mix here. I think there's six or seven of them. Zebras are closely related to donkeys. They are very aggressive, which is the reason they were never domesticated. Stop biting each other. They are typically brown, black with white stripes. Those stripes act as a camouflage, so when they run in herds, it creates a dazzling effect to intimidate predators, making it hard to differentiate one zebra from the other. Asian water buffalo are on the right side. They have a very thick, tough hide, which is used to make, it's used in India to make liquid butter. Asian water buffalo have a fetlock, which is a flexible joint just above their hoof. That makes it easy for them to go. These are the tallest bird and the fastest bird. They are known as rat tights. They are a large, flightless bird. They'll reach about eight feet tall and weigh 300 pounds. The male ostrich have black feathers, while the female ostriches have gray. Four of our zebras on the right, Asian water buffalo on the left. Zebra with white underbellies. And though the males are born far, they get dark and wet age. They don't get much bigger than that, like 80 pounds. The Dama Gazelle and the Visa Oryx on both left sides. Dama Gazelle, the white coat. They're the largest of the gazelle species. And they're critically endangered due to that. Their feathers grow from their backs, not from their tail. They're actually molting them now. They molt them every year. Looks this water buck on the left side. They're known for that elliptical white markings on their rump area. They live a very secondary lifestyle involving little to no physical activity. So if they were people, they'd be binge watching on Netflix. If you look at the Lipsis water buck, look closely at their noses. They're 1,000 pounds and stand 5 to 6 feet tall. They have white stripes along their back sides that makes an excellent camouflage in the tall grasslands. And there's here. There's some barn animals, some parrots. Food and drink trucks are here, also restrooms if anybody needs them. Giraffes, that female is about 16 feet. They have, their necks can reach about 7 feet with 7 vertebrae. Just like humans, they have 7 vertebrae. Those little guys here, those 